Hey everyone, welcome back to more Vanguard Bandits. When we last left off, we did a very similar battle to uh, the second to last chapter in Cecilia's branch, where we had to fight the Kingdom Army under uh, Falker's control once again. This time, of course, uh, we didn't have Cecilia with us, so it was a much tougher fight. But now, it's time to move on. We're going to face off against Falker the final time. First, we're gonna shop because I'm just double check what weapons I know. I want to look at the stones. What was that? Oh, man. That <laughs> HP plus twenty and one to all stats. Tempting, but that's all right. Time for the interview. The only one you should be able to talk to is Sadira, but oh uh, well, yeah. When this battle is one bastion, perhaps we'll be able to be ready to engage in less violent activities. I know she's like cranky and stuff, but Steer really cares about you. Be good to her, okay? And Sadira once more. Now for the briefing. We know what's happening. We're going against Faulkner. I will have my revenge this day, Faulkner. Revenge for every one of the lives you've destroyed. Now that was easy. Alrighty, this is it. Time to kill him once again. We've reached the castle. But where's Faulkner? Cecilia? Well, we already knew this. Hello, Bastion. Cecilia, are you alright? No, Bastion. Zolwarn is approaching. Where? Right there. Right here, you imp impertinent boy. Along with Zakov, Dwyer, and Wonderful. So it's this mission again. Dwyer! Listen to me, Dwyer. Faulkner is... You waste your breath, Sadira. Have you already forgotten what happened to Zira and the other fools? No. Not my brother. Cecilia, come here. Hurry! Prince Bastion, you have impressed me to no end with your combat skills and your infinite determination. Wouldn't you consider serving me instead of forcing me to end your life at such a promising young age? I would rather die a dozen deaths than spend a single moment under your control, Faulkner. It never hurts to ask, dear boy. Well, it never hurts me. Kill him! What? Ah! Cecilia! No way! Cecilia, why did you do that? I'll give you a clue, Bastion. I'm not controlling her mind. So the person for whom you've been working for all this time is... Attack! Ouch! You lost a good chunk of HP. Alright, one... Uh, one strategy for this... Is... At least it's uh, pretty much hit her with Soaring Dance. If it hits, she's dead. If it misses... Poop. 54% chance. I'm tempted to save a state here. Excuse me. Actually, you know what? We're gonna do it. If I... Oops. If I do it from this end... 36. Alright, let's save. We'll do it this way. Actually, I'd have to completely reload. Uh... But basically, we have to get rid of her ASAP. Much of the pains made to say it. 
Why did you betray me, betray me, Cecilia? Why did you betray us? I was only doing my job, Bastion. And this is not betrayal. It is fulfilling my duty to my employer. No, Cecilia! You feared to... You learned to care about us, and I guarantee that wasn't part of your duty to Faulkner. Bastion. It's too late for me now. Cecilia! I'm sorry. Got her. lost when I betrayed Bastion and Sidira. I lost my heart and my soul. I deserve this fate. Really didn't want to do that. Ah, oh, man. Now we gotta take care of the damn shark. So everybody get around Bastion. How far can you move? Okay, you can get in front of me. So I'll do that. You stay here. Growing wind. First thing that's gonna happen is, yeah, these guys are gonna come at us. You get over here. You in front. You on the side. Alright, we're set. Uh, well, we're just gonna wait here. Those two won't move just yet. The first order of business, like I said, is getting rid of these guys. That's a normal slash, and it's gonna hit him, so we'll counterattack it. Oh, cool. Sure, why not? This one's gonna attempt Sadira. How much could she hit with Spiral Dive, I wonder? Pretty hard, but I'm not gonna waste that. That is a lot of FP to drain. Wind Strike will be fine, though. So we'll start with a Wind Strike. His FP will drop as he heals. I hope. And you're gonna stand back here in turbulence. and that one's done. Oh, cool. Well, now she's maxed out power-wise. And Franco, go ahead and win-strike him again. Sadira, you can do the same thing. Almost done. Here they come. But they're no big deal. And we'll heal Franco. Here, 
comes Zakov for the umpteenth time. You help him. Another thing about Faulkner, he's never going to move. He won't move at all, so... Oh, this is good. Please avoid this. Damn it. twice, but no, we're gonna wait. Sadira! Yeah, get rid of it. One sharking down, the other's gonna drop soon. Here and there, so, there, so she can fight Dwyer. And then the combined efforts of Franco and Halak should get rid of this one. I hope. I can also do that. You get behind him. Yeah, you're open to the other guy, but who cares? Please hit. Come on, hit. Alright! See, now he's not talking. Whatever, I guess maybe it was glitching or something. Damn, that's gonna hurt. Ow. Really? And he's strong slashing. Wonderful. Damn it! Well, this is bad. I can't afford to lose him. I need his turbulence. Hopefully this will do it. No, not turbulence. Good. Please hit. Alright. He's done. Now we just gotta deal with the rest of these morons. You, of course, are healing him. At least it'll, it'll keep him alive. Oh good, he didn't do anything. Well, that'll fix him. Dwyer, snap out of it! I've heard of Sibley Rivalry, but this is ridiculous! Good. He's done. <laughs> I guess I'll just give it to agility. Uh, leave you there. Franco, just turbulence. Claire? 
let you get behind and you can do this. Alright. Heal Franco again, please, Bastion. This fight's gonna take a little while. Not because of what we're doing now, but because of Faulkner. Yeah, that'll work. I see you are able to defeat Alden and the other Hibernians, eh? Good fight, Princess. What? You weren't under the control of the Zol of the Zolorn attack? Of course not, silly bench. I willingly chose to to ally myself with Faulkner. Then you have willingly chosen to die with him, Zakov. And we'll throw another turbulence. again. That's what I thought. Goodbye. And Zakov is dead again. All right, now the fun begins. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now, if you remember, Heaven's Gate has a stupidly large uh, range. He's got a range of four, just like Turbulence. So we got to set this up just right. It's gonna be pretty easy, really. Like I said, he's never going to move. So, let's see. Yeah. One, two, three, four. So, four away from him. One, two, three, four. So, right there. So, move up to there. Two, three, four, right there. Wait, no, that's not right. So you're right there, right? So right there. Franco, you gotta move your ass. Bastion, you can stand over here. Claire, you're gonna go right here. Halak, you're right here. Now, the way this works is like so. Step. You've slaughtered so many innocent people, Faulkner. You've even taken the lives of your own countrymen. But the only life to be claimed today will be your own. Is that so? Indeed, Faulkner. And I shall be the one to claim it. I have grown tired of your empty threats, Adira. Which means it is time for you to die! Unfortunately, he's got his full 662 HP. So this is going to be a long fight. Wait, it's not going to work. Get behind her, and might as well just draw Gwen for the hell of it. I'll do a couple. 
couple searing flames, see if that helps any. See, another thing is, uh, well, here's how Faulkner works. So the first one, we already know he's got 662 HP. Two, he's got a range, uh, four range attack. It's that stupid Heaven's Gate thing. Uh, three, only one of his attacks causes him to gain FP, and even then he only gains five. So freezing him is out. Uh, four, he's got a speed of ten. So, I mean, it's hard enough to hit him as it is. So the only reason, only, like, sound strategy, aside from getting killed, is this. Oh, good, she hit him for 40. Basically, we're using hit-and-run tactics. Here, do this. Searing flame, and then move one space back. Use all the help you can get. Pretty much what we've got here is my Turbulence people are one space out of attack range. So basically it's step up, Turbulence, step back. Rinse, repeat. It's a little cheap, but it's the safest way to do it. Really, that wore off already. This way, we can slowly wear him down until we can actually go up and kill him. Apparently, Searing Flame doesn't last long at all. But hey. It's good enough for a couple attacks. So. I'll probably speed this part up. Just because it's going to take a little bit of time. We'll see. See how long it actually takes, and then if it needs to be sped up or not. Move up. Turbulence. Actually, hang on. see the same damn turbulence animation over and over again. It's probably gonna be just like this is here. We'll find out. Or you know he could just miss. Wow, apparently he's put his dodging shoes on. Got him. Oh, that's neat. At least she's connecting. Good, there we go. There we are. Now we're doing it. Damn. He's 385. Come on, we're getting there.
job. Oh, I got a searing flame again, too. Nice. Down to 312. Because it did make her do like 40 damage, which is pretty good. Oops. Who knew Faulkner could be so easy? It just takes a little bit of time. Nice, that's better. Ah, she leveled up. That's hilarious. Well, hell with it. Every little bit helps. Hopefully that'll keep her from wearing off her next wearing off next turn. Oh boy. I hope you guys have been enjoying this. I mean, it's coming to an end. And it's a, as I'm sure you've no doubt noticed, it's a really good game. Obscure and, and uh, slow in some ways, but really fun. If you like tactics games, this one is right up your alley. Got him down to 147, and Halleck levels up! Really wish Bastion had freaking uh, Roaring Wind again. Did that actually hit him? It didn't look like it. But then again, it looked, it, I mean, it made the whiff noise, but it looked like his HP dropped. Got him below 100. Yeah, it did look like he took a little damage there. I mean, his HP definitely changed. 64. Here in flame. Oops. Okay. This oops, this could possibly finish him off, so I'm gonna turn the animations back on. Do this. And now we wait. Because I want Sadira to get the final blow. 
Cecilia took him out on her path. Sadira's gonna do the same here. I hope. Come on, hit him! Yes! Wow, that was 73. Then again, it was an open hit. This cannot be! The Zolorn is too powerful to be defeated! I refuse to lose to you! No! No! Nah, none of the level. It's over. At last. Father has been avenged. The evil has been stopped, and the war is over. Are you alright, Dwyer? Or are you still feeling woozy from the effects of the Zilwarn's mind control? I'm fine, Sadira. It's only my ego that has been wounded. The glorious Junar's Empire is now a pile of smoking rubble, and it's all because of my stupidity. I never had the faintest clue of what Faulkner was planning. He used me so blatantly, so easily. The more I think back upon it, the angrier I, the angrier of myself I become. I let him turn me against my own flesh and blood. I'm so very sorry for what I allowed to happen. Fire. There's only one way to atone for my, for my foolishness. I've decided to relinquish the throne to you, Sadira. What? Dwyer? It is apparent that I don't have the ability to lead this nation, Sadira. It is equally apparent that you do. You will make a fine empress, sister. The citizens will rally behind you. You aren't giving up the throne, Dwyer. You're just running away from your responsibilities. Bastion! I'm not denying that you made many mistakes, Dwyer, but you also have a chance to make amends for them. By allowing myself to be ex publicly executed, perhaps? No, Dwyer. Although that idea does have some merit. Make amends by helping them rebuild this country. You're right, Bastion. I can't change what has happened, but I can change the future. I'll work as hard as I can to undo the damage that Faulkner wrecked. I'm here to help you, Dwyer. This isn't something that you have to do by yourself. I know, Sadira, but it's something I want to do on my own. I'm sure we will meet again soon, Prince Bastion. Indeed, Prince Dwyer. Contact me when you have decided what you, do, what you plan to do next. Perhaps we can ally our nations. That is a wonderful idea, Dwyer. So he's not a, such a bad guy. He's kind of an idiot. Thank you, Bastion. Thank you for giving Dwyer a measure of, con of confidence. I'm not so sure about that, Sadira. Dwyer still has a long path ahead before he regains self-respect. Why don't we return to Nordalen and report our victory to Logan? Like, I agree! Daddy will be so happy when he finds out that we won! And I'll be thrilled when we get to leave you behind. <laughs> oh, here we are out here again. Hello, Sadira. Hello, Bastion. It's over. And it's begun. The dawn of a new age. Bastion. What will you do now? I know what I want you to do. I think my next task is to make an appearance in the kingdom. I am the prince after all, whether I like it or not. Indeed, there are times when I am not entirely fond of being a princess. The kingdom is as devastated from the effects of the war as the empire. Perhaps my appearance will inspire the kingdom citizens as I help them restore what was lost. It's a noble thing to do, Bastion. After what I said to your brother, Sadira, how can I run away from my own responsibilities? You can't, Bastion. Not someone as honorable as you are. You're going to be very busy with your duties, aren't you? Undoubtedly. I was afraid of that. Sadira, I have a very unreasonable request to make of you. What's that, Bastion? I know you that the Empire is in just as much as to raise the kingdom and they could use you here. But... I want you to come to the kingdom with me. Bastion! With you at my side, everyone will see that the Empire and the kingdom are no longer at war. Oh. And I also... What? I want to be with you, Sadira, and not just as friends. Go, Bastion! Bastion. I love you, Sadira. 
Well, uh, of course I'll go with you, Bastion. I, I love you too. May I kiss you, Sidero? You may, Bastion. Claire! <laughs> like, it's about time! Jesus, they're all out here! <laughs> Congratulations, Princess! Now, it didn't take long enough! All of you were spying on us? Of course! We totally want to see... Make sure you guys hook up! You two are so meant for each other! Then why have you been flirting with Bastion since the moment you met him? I was just trying to make you jealous so that you'd work one and more. And it totally worked. What? You're just jealous that, you, that he loves me and not you, Claire. So why don't you all leave and give Bastion and me some privacy? That <laughs> Claire! Am I too late to see Bastion and Sidira making out? All of you, please, go away! <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, that was great. Nice. So, we have another ending in the books. 37 out of 56 missions won, just like before. And 30 out of 32 attacks. And now we get the same beautiful ending. And I can't skip it. Oh well. Eh, what the hell with the credits roll again. Still a really pretty song. But, I'm pretty, I think it's tough. I mean, I think I do like the Sidira ending more. They're both pretty good. One has him running off with Cecilia, and the other has him going back to his duties as, with, or, with Sidira. So in a way, they're both win-win win scenarios. It just depends on how your romance works. If you like the style of running off into the sunset with your lover, then Cecilia is more for you. But if you like the more duty-bound option, where you're reigning supreme with your love at your side, then go with Sidira's. Either way, Bastion gets the girl. Though everybody is definitely more happy with the Sidira ending, since they were all out on the damn balcony. <laughs> oh god, that was brilliant. Am I too late to see them waking out? Yeah, with that out of the way, there's just one more branch to do, and that's the Ruin Branch. And that's the shortest one of all. And then after that, we'll finally be done with this game. Hopefully that's what it... The, key, the Ruin Branch is what it takes to unlock that opening option in the uh, options menu. I'm so, uh, the reason why I'm so trying to get it unlocked is because, well, it's an alternate opening, and it is hilarious. It's just, I mean, when you see it, it's, it's amazing that you that even you think that they do something like that. But then again, this game clearly doesn't take itself very seriously, and that's one of the things I love about it. Just how freaking off the wall it is. This is dialogue you'd never expect to see in a game as serious as this is supposed to be. But again, that's why I love it. It's not afraid to be crazy. They programmed a completely wild and witty game, and I love it. And I love this song, too. It's our second time hearing it, I know, so if you're still watching at this point, hopefully it isn't bothering you. That's even if I, that's if I even decide to leave the ending credits in. I might just go back and just skip it and coming to the save part at the end. Um, hold on. Yeah, it's still locked. 57 out of 50, 37 out of 56. So, let's see. How is that, though? Because the Kingdom Branch was 20, as was this one. So where did the other three missions... Oh, that's why. Because the first three missions are the same. That's why. Okay. So yeah, they only count... The first three missions only count for the Kingdom Branch. Now it makes sense. So technically we've done 40 missions, but the first three only count once. Which means the, the Ruin Branch 
should only have, let's see if I can do some math here, 19 missions in it. Yeah, because 20 would be 57. And, hmm. Well, that's interesting. But, with that, I'll go ahead and make a save here. Wait, what did I just hit? There it goes. And we will continue next time. So join us then, everyone, when we embark on the Ruin Journey, which is kind of lame, I guess, in a way, because you're just exploring ruins with Puck, and it doesn't make any sense. But it should be worth, it should be pretty funny, to say the least. Again, I hope you guys have been enjoying this thus far, as it's, I've been loving it. Until next time, everyone.